Okay. Um, so last week I had two visits to hospital, <laughs> um, planned, nothing emergency. Um, but just to give you a bit of an update, I know I said in the last vlog, um, I'd talked with my consultant, we're waiting referrals, not consultant, I'd talked with my genetic counsellor and we're waiting referrals regarding the situation. <laughs> Um, with me having the BRCA gene mutation. Um, having gone to the RVI on Tuesday to talk to um, Claire, who is a specialist nurse, um, we decided that I'm going to go ahead with a double mastectomy and reconstruction. Um, ideally, we want deep flap surgery, which is deep, 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 deep flap surgery, which is where they use skin and fat from your lower abdomen and they cut that out and they use that to reconstruct your breasts um it is a very big surgery it is kind of eight hours down and a four month recovery is what they advise some people get through it quicker but they advise it it's a very involved surgery it's five days up to five days in hospital and because of that there's a waiting list of around 12 months um it's that's kind of what we're aiming for but until I've actually spoke to my consultant and he says yes no and then he does a scan to see if the blood vessels in my stomach are able to be are good enough to be able to be taken out with the skin and fat and used to connect into blood supply in my chest um we can't say for definite that's what's going to happen so plan a is if all is well and we can we're going for that type of reconstruction largely because because it's all made from your tissue your breasts will kind of put on a bit of weight with you lose a bit of weight with you they're very much a part of you and there's a smaller chance of rejection it's also seen as a lifelong solution so it's like you go in you get this done ruling out any kind of complications that's it you're done it's golden Plan B, if the blood vessels aren't quite there or for any other reason the surgeon um, and consultant don't think I can have that done, I'm going to go for implants. Um, if I have to go for them, it's not the end of the world. I'm not going to be completely devastated, but they do have a shelf life. There's a greater chance of rejection because it is a foreign body. So it's meh, it, it's not ideal. It's not exactly what I want, but at the end of the day, it they serve the purpose they will be boobs for all they're made of silicon or saline or whatever they decide to put in them um you know it, it'll it is what it is it's plan b it's but it's a plan in case plan a doesn't work and that's the main thing um yeah so the next step with that surgery is i have a appointment with my consultant mr collins in collis no collins i need to stop doing that mr collis um in march um and that's kind of the next step down the road on that side of things. Um, on Thursday, I went to Hexham General and spoke to my doctor, whose name I'm not going to try and pronounce because I will do it wrong. <laughs> she was an absolutely lovely, but I, can't, I just can't pronounce that name. Um, absolutely lovely. Um, and she has said she is happy to put me on the waiting list to have BSO surgery. I can't even pronounce the name of the, the actual full name of the surgery. Let's just go with VSO. But <laughs> um, but that is basically to remove my ovaries and my fallopian tubes. Um, there was kind of, I was kind of worried going into that um, consultation that I was going to have a bit of a battle on, but with there only being 34 at the moment, the minimum age is normally set at 35. However... The cancer that my mum actually had, which led to me being diagnosed with the BRCA mutation, was ovarian. And it was very aggressive. She went from testing clear on blood tests, she went from testing clear of cancer, to being stage 3 within a couple of months. It was, you know, it was scary how fast that that can grow and move and become so serious. Um, so bearing that in mind, the fact that... Um, I already have two children who are aged 12 and 13, you know, they're, they're up, they're, they're bigger children. Um, and the fact that we had to have the conversation regarding, are we actually going to have any more kids very seriously last year? Because Gordon was diagnosed with testicular cancer. She was kind of like, 
Yeah, we can we can wait. This is fine. You can go on the waiting list. So I'm currently on the waiting list to have that operation and I should be having it in two to three months time. It's a much simpler operation, assuming everything goes to plan. Um, it's basically a case that it's day surgery. You go in the morning, you come out in an evening. It's a few weeks off your feet where you feel a bit sore and a bit ugh, but it's not anywhere near the other surgery. This one's kind of the easy one. The issue with this one is what comes after because it will put me straight into menopause, which at 34 is quite young, but at the same time, early menopause kind of runs in my family. So, meh, it's not that much earlier. And I can go on HRT without any associated dangers that you normally see from women taking prolonged HRT because it is replacing a hormone that was removed rather than extending the life, sort of extending the time the hormone is naturally in your body. I just realised, oh, my mum and aunties are going to be watching this, like, going, will she stop talking <laughs> about all the crap that goes on now? Because I'm sorry, mum and aunties, okay? <laughs> they were, they we're going to go into details, yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it's, like I say, early menopause is quite prevalent in my family. It, it's just a thing. So it, again, that was a deciding factor. So I am on the waiting list and getting ready to have that operation. So that's where we are in terms of... <laughs> the grand surgery journey we're about to embark on to stop me dying of cancer. Yay! <laughs> it is Monday morning after Burns weekend and I am exhausted. For not all of the right reasons. No, it was a good weekend. Um, it was great seeing Val again. Sadie was up. Sadie's still here, actually. Um, Gordon was ill last week. And he managed to get back to work on Friday, but he has been really ill over the weekend. So I'm up early making coffee to drag him to the doctor's. And I need to go and get him out of bed. So that's happening. So I left the house for more than an hour. That is my arm. Can I have it back? Can, can, can I have the... Can I just... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna take... No? Okay. You just...